SQL or structured query language is used by software applications to interact with the database. Is it important for you to learn SQL? In this video, I'm going to explain what is SQL and why it is important for you to learn it. My name is Abhishek Shivastava and I have 29 plus years of experience in the IT industry. I started my career as a programmer and worked in that field for five years before moving into business analysis, project and program management. As a programmer, I used SQL extensively and nowadays I teach SQL to various professionals. Now it's time to start by understanding what is SQL. Consider this, you sign up on a website and then using that credentials, you try and log in. Now, how does the website remember you? It remembers you by saving your data. Where? In the database. And why does it save in the database? because it wants to keep a permanent record of your sign-up details, your login credentials, so that when you go and put in your login details, it is able to identify that you are a registered user. I talked about database. So what is a database? In simple terms, visualize an Excel file. When you open an Excel file, you can see multiple tabs there. These tabs are called sheets or worksheets. Each sheet can have one type of information. Loosely, we can think of each sheet as a table. So when you think about the table, think about rows and columns. Now, every database comprises of tables and other structures, but let's focus on tables and the database. Now let's think about how is the data sent to the database, saved and then retrieved from it. Like in the previous example, the signup data needs to be sent to the database and when you are logging in, it needs to be retrieved to check whether your credentials are in the database or not. Now, the software application in question, which, is, which you can see on your screen, needs to do that as it has to check whether it can allow you entry or not. So, it uses SQL to interact with the database. It sends your login ID and the password to the database to check whether it is in the database or not. And this interaction happens using SQL. We use SQL for saving and retrieving data from the database or tables. So what is SQL? SQL is a language, but very different than the typical programming languages like Python, Java, or C -sharp. You do need to write programs but these are very short blocks of code and not the lengthy codes as you have to write in the typical programming languages. For example, you can see on the screen, select star from hr.employees. This piece of code, which is typically four or five words, will fetch you all the data from the employees table. As you can see, the amount of code written for doing such a large operation is really short. SQL comprises of keywords like select, like from, and using those keywords, you can create SQL queries or SQL statements to perform multiple operations on databases. So what kind of operations you can do? Some examples, creating or deleting tables, adding data to the tables, modifying data, deleting data, getting data from the tables or retrieving it, and managing access rights to tables and other objects in the database. These are just some of the examples. You can do a lot many things on the databases using SQL. I've created more tutorials on SQL. You can check out on our channel. Now, why SQL is important for you? So let's have an example. You are a programmer and you are working on a software project. Typically, most of the software projects will have this requirement of storing, keeping the data in the database, modifying it, updating it, and retrieving it. So you need SQL. SQL works on almost all of the databases. You can be working on a data analytics or data science or even AI project. There also you need to deal with a lot of data. So retrieving data, transforming data, modifying data is part of data engineering in a data science project. SQL can also be used even if you are dealing with Twitter analytics project or any unstructured 
data. For example, the data which you get from Facebook or from LinkedIn to understand customer behavior. That data is not in the format of rows and tables because each data could be different. SQL can help you there as well. Finally, you need SQL to create reports for your customer. So if you are a business analyst or anybody who is working on reporting, you can learn SQL to create reports. Additionally, I would also tell you that using the same mechanism of getting the data from the database, you can create very attractive dashboards in Tableau, Power BI and similar data visualization tools that could be very handy for the customers for decision making. So these are some of the reasons why learning SQL in today's world is going to be very, very handy for you. Before I end, let me share with you that I have created a course in SQL, which is a self-paced course. This course has seven modules and starts from scratch. Each chapter is explained with examples and have also added exercises for practice. You can check the course details in the link shown on the screen. I will also provide this link in the description section so that you can go and check out the details. Thanks for watching this video and I wish you all the best.